Punda ni muhimu kwa maisha yangu kwa sababu ninasaidia sana. Unafanya kazi ya kupepa mchanga na punda. Na pepa na punda ina tribu kumi kwa siku na na pepa kiasi ya lori moja. Punda ni mke mwenza wa mama. Maana ndiyo wanatumia kuchota nayo maji, kwenda kuni, wengine una wanabebea misigo. Sasa wananunua nayo mahindi, wananunua maragwe, wanaleta hapa town kuuza. Kwa hivyo inawasaidia sana wa mama. Tumeanza kwa muda wa miaka zaidi ya 20 na tunapeleka mpaka huko soko mulo tunauza huko. Mi wanga nategemea punda yani. Hapa Mwea kazi ni mingi za punda. Kuna wenye wanachota maji na punda kama sisi tunaanika mchele na punda hata kuna wengine wana bebanga mizigo huko kwa soko wanatoa hapa wanapeleka mahali pengine. Na banyanga gazi na vunda alafu ninazukua vunda yangu ninaenda tauni ninachota maji ninausa ninachomesa watatu watoto yangu hata wa chakula inatoka kwa vunda ile. Ni kazi imetusaidia kama wakati waja tunapata chakula kutoka kwa hii kazi yetu watoto pia wanasoma kama ni nguo wanganapata huko kwa punda 2016 is when the first slaughterhouse was established in our area of operation in the six counties in a month we would have a case or two of donkeys stolen once the first slaughterhouse opened the numbers of donkeys stolen jumped up from one, one or two cases in a month, to a high of 120 donkeys in a month. And so if you went into households, you're finding tens, hundreds of community members, poor women telling you, you know, I lost my donkeys. kwa na punda moja. Hiyo punda ilikuwa inasaidia mimi kufanya kasi yote. Nilikuwa napeleka maji, napeleka kibarua yangu. Sasa ilikuwa inapeleka mbali kuleta biashara. Naenda kufanya na na hiyo funda yangu ndio nafanya hiyo kasi yote. Sasa kuanzia saa hii ilikuwa funda yangu imeenda, mimi nateseka. Nateseka maji, watoto wangu nateseka. Sasa nimeteseka mambo mingi. Punda yangu ilipiwa ni punda tano. Na hiyo punda likuwa natumia kwa juu ya shule. Kwa bishi ya watoto. One of the challenges that we are currently facing with the donkeys and the donkey owning communities is the fact that uh, there are some slaughterhouses that have been uh, opened uh, in Naivasha and Baringo. So there are a lot of donkeys that are being sold to meet the demands or the needs of these slaughterhouses. Uh, and along with that, there are other donkeys that are stolen from their owners and they, they are sold to the merchants and they find their way to the slaughterhouses. About the stealing of the, don of the donkeys. You like it when it is carrying water for you or carrying the, doing the transportation of goods for you. That people change and also treat the donkey the same way they treat the cow. You find the, the donkey is the one which is going to, do, to carry the, the food for the cow, then you find it is, it is not eating that food. It is taken again outside to go and grace itself. Tuliona tuijenga nyumba ya kufungia tunaweka na kufuli. Iyo itatusaidia kidogo kwa sababu wakati wenye wanakuja kukata hiyo nini kifuli tunasikia kwa sababu hata punda hataki mwenye mtu mgeni usiku mimi najengea hiyo nyumba karibu na yangu ndio athari yoyote ikitokea usiku mtaesasikia sauti yoyote kama ni mbwa hata kama ni hiyo punda kwa sababu hata naye punda athari ikitokea ya anajaribu kukanyaga kanyaga chini na kutoa hata sauti hiyo yake unasikia kuna kuna athari hapo nje tukapata hiyo pesa tunakuja kununua mapati kununua msumari this is a good thing. 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 